Trentino, Sud Tirol, Italy. Here at Menzengasse, we turn the finest fruit and vegetables into preserves, seasonings and semi-finished products for families, confectioners, hotels, restaurants and ice cream parlors around the world. Great tastes, naturalness and a love of the environment what make our products so special. Let's find out about them. The recipe we're going to make now is a ricotta and forest fruit tart. It's a new take on a very famous tart from the south of Italy. We'll be making it in two parts. The first thing to do is to make the short pastry and the second is the preparation of the filling. Let's see how it's done. There's one thing to remember when making the short pastry. We must start by mixing the flour and the butter. But the butter must be at room temperature and not from the fridge, so it will already be fairly soft. We'll then add in all the other ingredients. We've now mixed all the ingredients, and this is what the consistency of our short pastry should look like. We'll protect it with cling film and let it rest in the fridge for four or five hours to let its structure set. In the meantime, we'll make the filling for our Mensengasse ricotta and forest fruit tart. Let's see how to make it. We'll do it in two steps. The first is to whip up the egg whites separately until they're stiff. It's essential to have them as firm as possible. The second thing is to mix in all the other ingredients. We'll therefore add in the vanilla, the sugar, the starch, the ricotta, the eggs and the lemon zest. Good, we've prepared the two parts of the filling for our mens and gasa, ricotta and forest fruit tart. So we'll now very delicately mix them together. The egg whites that we whipped stiff on their own need to be mixed in very carefully with a mixture that has all the other ingredients, keeping in as much air as possible. So we'll pour the stiff egg whites into the bowl and mix gently. The filling for our mince and gasa ricotta and forest fruit tart is now ready. So we'll let it rest in the fridge for about half an hour. In the meantime, we'll prepare the short pastry base in our mold. After preparing the two base preparations for our recipe, the short pastry and the ricotta filling, we're ready to make our tart using a mince and gasa product. In this case, we'll be using a preparation for baking and filling with 50% forest fruits. Remember that this product should always be used cold for filling or when baking. The product is bake stable, so as well as keeping its flavor, it will also look pretty on your tart after baking. Let's see how to put the whole thing together. We've prepared a piping bag with our mince and gasa forest fruit preparation and we'll spread a layer about one centimeter thick on our short pastry base like this. And then we'll fill all the rest of the tart with the ricotta filling that we made earlier. We'll try to make it as smooth as possible and then it'll be time to start cooking. 
The oven needs to be at about 180 degrees Celsius and baking will take about 30 minutes. Once it's baked, we'll let it cool down and when it's cool, I'll show you how to decorate it.